Plugins are a great way to save time and make your life easier in After Effects, and today I'm going to be showing you five free plugins that you may not have heard of. Our first plugin is AE Viewer, and it's a fully featured media browser that you can access and use right inside of After Effects. Here's the AE Viewer window, and it's pretty straightforward. On the left, you have your main file browser that you can use to navigate your PC and find the right folder containing the footage that you want to use. Once you've navigated to the folder that you want, you have this nice menu of previews for all of the different kinds of files that you might need to use. You can hover over videos for a full preview of what the video is. You can easily import any kind of images you need. Animated GIFs will automatically preview inside of the window. You can see if the footage is a different type of aspect ratio, and you can even preview audio files. To apply something to the timeline, just double click it and it will instantly appear. With just a few clicks, you can have your audio, video, and overlay applied to your composition easily. There are also a few other features like adding a folder to your favorites for quick access, but most of the other options are behind a paywall. It's still an awesome free tool to use though. The next plugin is Grid Rig, a simple plugin that allows you to create customizable grid layers quick and easily. As soon as you open Grid Rig, it creates a layer on your timeline like this, and in the effect controls panel, you can see the customization options. You're able to set the amount of lines for each dimension of the grid. I'll set these both to 15 lines. The scale will change the size of your grid. You're also able to rotate it. You can change the spacing of the lines, delay the animation of each set of lines, and change whether or not it's centered. To do a quick animation, I'll set a keyframe for X size and Y size at the start of the composition. I'll set both values to 1200, move forward to 2 seconds on the timeline, set the values back to 100, then I'll smooth out the keyframes with the graph editor tool. Now you can see we have this nice reveal animation for the grid. If you want to modify the animation a bit more, you can change the delay. If we set the delay to 10, when you play the animation now, each row of lines for the grid will stagger in with their animation. And just like that, we have a simple grid animation using the Grid Rig plugin. The next plugin is Decompose Text, a super simple plugin that allows you to separate text layers into individual layers for you. Here I have a basic text layer with multiple lines of words, and here's the Decompose Text window. With my text layer highlighted, I can set Decompose to Characters, which means every character will have its own layer, then click Decompose. Now you can see every single layer is individual and can be modified or animated on its own. If I undo that, then set Decompose to Words instead and click Decompose, each word becomes its own unique layer to modify. And lastly, if I undo that, then set it to Lines and click Decompose, each line of text becomes its own unique layer to modify. Our next plugin is called Rift, and it's an all-in-one tool for staggering layers, adjusting timing, and rearranging keyframes quickly and easily. Here I have a composition with a bunch of shapes animating in all at the same time. This here is the Rift window with all of the controls for adjusting these layers. We can set the unit of measurement so whenever we input a number, it'll modify that by a number of seconds, frames, or whatever we need. The states basically allow you to have different presets for using the tool, so if we make a bunch of changes and want to reset but keep this menu the same, we can just move to the second state. Here we can choose what part of the layer we want to affect. We want to affect the entire layer, so we just have everything selected and set it to affect all keyframes. Time Effect lets us move keyframes by a set amount, so if I highlight one of our layers, we can set the default unit to seconds, enable Time Effect, and we have it set to affect everything behind the scrubber and in front of it, which is basically everything. Now under Shift, I have it set to 1, which is 1 second. Now if I click Add to Time, it moves the layer forward by 1 second, and if I want to move it back, I can click Subtract from Time. For Key Align, this just moves the keyframes, so if I click Left Align to Scrubber, it will put all of the keyframes on the right side of the scrubber, and if I click Right Align to Scrubber, it will put them all back to where they were. The last main feature is sequencing and staggering, and with this what we can do is highlight all of our layers, set the Arrange to Stagger and Ascending, set the default unit to Frames, leave the number at 1, and then press the Play button. Now you can see it staggered all of our layers by one frame in ascending order, just like how we set it on the menu. And now you have this composition of staggered shape animations using the Rift plugin. Our last plugin is Displacer Pro, an advanced displacement map tool for creating some amazing distortion effects. Here I have a basic stock video, and if I go to Effect, Plug in Everything, Displacer Pro, I get a full menu of displacement map options to play with. We'll leave the map layer as is. You can change the channel type to whatever you need. Then, when you start adjusting the transform options, you can see the results of the displacement. A quick way to make a cool effect is to displace the footage far in one direction, duplicate the layer, displace it far in the other direction, duplicate the layer one more time, 
put it underneath of all the other layers, and then reset the displacement. And now you have this crazy warped version of the original footage. Another main use of displacement is setting the map layer to something other than the original. Here I have a cool glitch map layer, and if we just set this to be the map layer for our displacement map, all you need to do is slightly adjust one of the transform parameters, like increasing X by 1%. Now when I play it back, you can see the footage takes on the motion of our glitch map layer. You can play around with these options for an endless amount of amazing results. On top of these 5 free plugins, we have 100 free After Effects and Premiere Pro templates for you to download. On top of that, we can install and use our Motion Duck extension, which will allow you to preview and apply templates with the click of a button. Then you can edit the imported template by changing the text, colors, and other parameters to fit your project's needs. You can download our free 100 template pack for After Effects and Premiere Pro. The links will be available in the description down below. And remember, always be creating.